While those iconic subway booths will be empty come next year because of an agreement between the MTA and the transit workers unions. And those station agents in those booths will now be on the platforms instead. News tells Caitlin Ulrich tells us what we need to know about how riders feel about the change. The MTA says station agents roaming the platforms come 2023 is a move to enhance the customer experience. And the TWU says the agreement was to protect the more than 2,000 workers from losing their livelihoods because of contactless fare payment. But some riders say they wonder if workers will be safe. But I definitely am going to start asking a lot of the workers that I'm in contact with. Jose Gonzalez is part of the Guardian Angels, a volunteer group that patrols the subway, hoping to help people stay safe, like station agents. Okay, so you're back again. Sorry. MTA workers pass by Jose and thank him for what he does, and he worries about the changes for station agents. It's a lot safer for the MTA workers to be in the booth. Fundamentally, we want our employees to use their common sense. If there is any issue whatsoever, uh, that they should be, you know, reporting it to police, um, or if necessary, you know, retreating back to the booth. Station agent safety was a big topic during conversations between the MTA and the TWU, according to MTA officials. Workers are undergoing a four day training, learning about de-escalation and customer service. Our station cleaners and other employees that are out today in the stations, and thankfully we've had very few instances. Other riders think that the presence of agents will make riding safer. Just, you know, having their presence out here, you know, when you know, nobody's out here will probably keep, you know, the shysty people in their position. Agents will walk their platforms multiple times a shift, and the TWU says they'll be getting a raise of $1 per hour. But as Jose sees it, workers don't need to be out on the platform that he says they know all too well. You know, they're seeing it because they got their boots to the ground here in the subways, and they see the decrease of uh, safety that's been going on here in the city. Now these station agents are going to have cell phones on them in the case that they need to contact some agencies like the NYPD. And according to the MTA, management is going to be out with these workers in the first few weeks of this change in order to get a sense of the kind of environment they're working in. In Canarsie, I'm Caitlin Ulrich, News 12.